Hello everyone and welcome to the next freaking episode. At one point, we were top in this Barclays Premier League table. However, Manchester City came along and stole it from us with the exact same amount of points, somehow. Technically, I guess we're joint first with Manchester City. However, fate has smiled upon us. <coughs> Excuse me. Fate has given us a chance to knock Manchester City off their first top spot. Yes, we are going to be playing against Manchester City. Holy sh... Anyway, enough with the dramatic music and everything. No! I said enough. So yes, we do have a big game and it's going to decide who's on the top of the back of Premier League again. But first, of course, we have to deal with Everton and also the European Cup match as well. I'm keeping my best team on even though they're tired and they're probably going to fall over in the next game and die on the floor. Um, because I want to give them a rest in the game after this so that then, hopefully, they're ready for the next game against Manchester City. And even this game against Everton is kind of a big game because at the top of the league table everything is so close that all the wins you need to get basically. If you just don't get one win and you know like the team below you gets another win because everything's so close, they're just going to overtake you and you're going to look like a pudding. Anyway, let's look at the freaking highlights. At 13 and a half minutes, the ball magically falls to Benteke on the edge of the box and the shot on his weak foot. What a decent attempt from Benteke. And he managed to win us a corner as well. And now the corner. It's the first goal in this game going to be a header. Of course it is. What a silly question. This is FIFA 14 we're playing and the only way to score is with a header. Yes, I kind of feel bad for Everton because obviously headers are just so OP and if you get a corner in this game, you know, it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to win. So I do feel sorry, or get a goal rather, so I do feel sorry for Everton. It looks like Monreal does as well as he passes in a ball to Kone. Oh my goodness. And luckily to Sergan with the save, even luckier, it didn't actually go out for a corner. Then Monreal decides it's going to be a good idea to force his private area onto the unsuspecting victim's face of Gibson. Mmm. Mmm, it tastes good. And that's the end of the first half. So, a really rubbish goal basically. The worst kind of goal which is a header from a freaking corner from a centre back at 15 minutes for Marlon with the goal. You can say it's a good thing that we're winning but I just I don't like scoring headers, I don't like being scored against with headers, so yeah, I kind of feel I kind of feel bad for Everton, here's the goal, but we're not going to watch it. And to make it just a little bit more worse, Everton probably deserve to be winning. They've had an extra shot and also 58% possession, but somehow we're winning. Into the second half now, we do manage to get a few chances, but they were kind of pitiful, so they're not really worth showing, and we got a couple. And um, yeah, that's kind of the end of the second half. No more chances, no more goals, and that's the end of the game. So the only goal in this game was, of course, the gay header from Vermaelen, and that's why he gets the 8.2 for the player ratings. As you can see, we didn't really pull possession back that much, and we still had no other shots on target. So that's shameful and pitiful. That we That's how we get the win against Everton, is from a, from a freaking header. They're probably going to go kill themselves now. And I kind of feel a little bit bad. But not that bad, because we got the win. And this means we have a chance at beating Manchester United now and moving up on the league table. But before we get to that, we got the next game, which is against um, whoever they are. It's for the, for the Champions Cup. And as promised, we're going to be playing our dirty peasant team who don't really matter. These could die in the next game and it will be okay as long as my favorite team is ready for the next big game against Manchester City and I think what we're going to do with this game is because I should be simulating these games but I've kind of already played them because I'm doing post commentary obviously um, then I'm just going to skip this game I think and we're just going to see if we win if there's any decent highlights I'm going to show them but if there's any freaking headers 
I'm not going to show them. Well, that was the most boring game I've ever watched. It's a good job I decided to skip that because, as you can see, it's a nil-nil freaking result against Payok, is actually what they're called. And they probably deserve that win as well. Our defender got the man of the match, and they got, they got four shots on target out of four and 60% possession however they only made one tackle somehow and we made 19 i have no idea how that works but yeah that was that was the most boring game in the history of mankind so yeah good job we skipped it yes that was a boring game but however we get the next game which is against manchester city this is for the league title no oh, wait no it's not we've already won the league title Woo! <laughs> Well, we haven't actually won it yet, but we're at the top of the league table, which is good, right? I think maybe I probably made out this game was going to be a little bit bigger than it actually is. But it's still a big game, I mean. Uh, Manchester City are a good team, and if we do manage to beat them, we're going to create an even bigger divide between us and any other team in the backless Premier League. So it's still a big game, and it's still important to get this win. So we're playing our big team, and... Manchester City are probably going to be playing their big team as well. I mean, this is kind of a big game because it's a crucial point uh, in the league table. So, yeah, all the peasants are going to be sat at home, sipping lemonade, sitting around in their pants, probably not even watching the game, probably watching some questionable videos on the internet. However, for us, we're not so lucky. we got to stand out here in the rain and freaking win this game for the team. And with that said, let's get into the freaking highlights. And the first one coming from a pass from Pogba and Santi Gazzola with the finesse shot going really, really gay and wide. How did you not score that? Oh my goodness. And that's pretty much all that happens in the first half. Wow. One freaking shot. So nil-nil in such a big game, I'm kind of disappointed. I'd expect that to be more chances and maybe bigger chances but I guess if both teams are evenly matched then this is kinda the result we're just getting a load of highlights from fouls here wow and it looks like Manchester United are also having a tough game against Aston Villa with a 1-1 score at half time in their game but as you can see from the match facts in our game this this game is just like ridiculously evenly matched it's just annoying I wanna get some freaking amazing long shot goals from 900 yards out and this team is just too good. So no goals so far, but then finally a shot from David Silva that comes pretty close, but still, no goals. Some nice passing play from Manchester City, it's into the box now, a chance for Guidetti, the save, the post, oh my goodness, Sanye clears it, but it doesn't go far, it's back in, into the box, it's on the edge of the box with Torre, Torre, to Jovetic, oh my goodness, and finally, finally, the pressure is over, finally, finally, my freaking, I think I just crapped myself, I think I, I'm gonna have to, um, I'll be right back, and I'm back with a clean pair of underpants, I'm feeling pretty fresh, feeling pretty good about myself, but then the ball's with Pogba, Pogba with a through ball to Benteke, Benteke with a chance, and the goal! <laughs> wasn't a header. Yay! And we get a few more chances as Bruma cuts inside here. The pass to Santi Cazola. Santi Cazola now with a shot. Ooh, yeah. And then that's the end of the game. Oh my goodness. We beat Manchester City and also Manchester United. We're freaking unstoppable. We're freaking, well, let's just be honest, it's Benteke that is unstoppable. And I think I've already said enough about Benteke and how much I'm in love with him and I want him to have my babies. So let's just move on to the match facts. And I think we did a lot better in the second half, although it was still fairly even. I mean, they had more possession than us. Uh, we had a lot of tackles by the looks of things, but Pogba with the highest rating. And oh my goodness, that's another freaking notch on the belt. Another legend, another champion that we've managed to demolish. And then we get a message 
for the tournament prize money for the Champions Cup. We're not even out of the uh, group stages yet, and we just got 10 million. Wow, that's crazy. 10 million and 30,000. I'm going to go out and spend it all on women and drugs and and Pokemon cards. But yeah, that's all uh, good news because that's a lot of money. Hopefully we're going to be able to buy some new players next month in the transfer window. And as you can see, we're now, well, we're now a few points ahead of anyone else in this table, which we were already first, but now we're increasing that gap and the divide between us and the rest of the teams, which is amazing. And we also get a message from, um, I don't know, basically saying that Abu Dhabi and Bakary Sanya's contracts are coming to a close and they're, we're in risk of losing them. Which I'm going to regret not dealing with straight away later on in these freaking episodes. But that's all later on in the future. Nobody really cares about all that junk until it actually happens, of course. Then it's the worst thing that could ever happen. Hopefully some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you may not as well. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you all in the next video.